Ron, thank you. The city of Arudoso is beginning to reopen. The fire is causing a massive financial hit during one of their busiest seasons. KMAX Cameron Mendoza spoke with folks in the village. And Cameron, what is tourism looking like right now? Yeah, Brian and Lauren, the 4th of July is typically one of the busiest weekends for the village of Rudoso, although there wasn't the usual boom of visitors this past weekend. Officials tell me visitors are ready and eager to vacation there again as a lot of their attractions resume to business as usual. We had two confirmed reservations and they are both still in place. So those people are coming. Danny Cedillo Lujan is a Ruidoso realtor who deals specifically with Airbnbs in the village. And while Ruidoso is beginning to open up after those devastating wildfires caused widespread damage, she says folks are still eager to vacation in the mountainside town. I did hear from a lot of guests that were saying, we are coming, we are coming to Ruidoso, we're spending our money, um, we, we want to help. Um, make it whole again. Many of Danny's clients have not hosted since the fires began three weeks ago, and it was up to Airbnb owners if they wanted to welcome guests back so soon. Is it safe? Is it healthy? Um, or do they have to shut it down because it's full of smoke? Everything around them is burned. Um, that is a very hard decision that those business owners have to make. Gary Gladden with the village of Ruidoso says. They did announce their town and its businesses have reopened for the most part. There's there's parts of the community that they might be used to having access to, like Cedar Creek or the Upper Canyon, that they won't. Gladden says business has resumed as usual this week, including parks and lakes reopening, horse races resuming, and stores stocked back up. But there are some things guests need to look out for before visiting. When you're here, be mindful that it is a flash flood zone right now and that you know you need to you need to be aware if there's weather forecasted, you need to have a plan. The usual activities in town may not be available at the moment, but Gladden says there's not a shortage in things to do. There are lots of other places like uh, Grindstone Lake is open, so you can go fish there and walking and, you know, taking the dog out. Now they're ready to welcome guests back after a rough three weeks. We want visitors to come. I mean, tourism is our lifeblood, and we, we enjoy our visitors and our small businesses, our small lodging establishments. They, they need for people to come back. Gladden says flooding and the possibility of mudslides have been a concern, and that's why they're asking folks to avoid those flood zones. Good news is they've had good weather these last few days, and cleanup efforts have gone well just in time to welcome folks back.